Now, you brought along a large selection of, uh, well, music posters. What they all have in common is they all relate to one club, which was the Bluesville, at the Baths Hall. Where was that? In Ipswich. Um, and in the summer, it was a swimming pool, but in the winter, they covered it over and it became a dance hall. What year are we talking about? So, 1965-66. Yes. You were working then in, in here in Ipswich? Yes, i just left school and I was working around the corner in the telephone exchange. Right. So I met a group of girls from Ipswich and we used to go there every Monday night. We met all these famous people now, but they weren't famous then. So out of all the people lined up here, what was your favourite group or individual? Um, my favourite individual person was Long John Baudry. Oh, here he is. Yes. Long John Baudry headed the lineup, and then Rod the Mod Stewart, Stewart was number yes. two. Yes. <laughs> My favourite is the one near you, John Mayle and the Blues Breakers. Mm. And then he's featuring the sensational guitar of Eric Clapton. Yes. Now, Eric Clapton is a particular hero of mine. Yes. He was in the Yardbirds. That's where his mm. first group was, or yeah. one of the first groups. He left the Yardbirds, joined the Blues Breakers for just a year, and then formed that epic trio, The Cream. Yes. Now, these sort of posters um, were, were produced every week. They're very ephemeral. They would have been fly-posted, torn down, thrown away. So how come you, you've got so many and you kept them? Well, the club was run by Nanda and Ron Leslie, mm -hmm. who were the promoters from London, and they would come down every week and leave them lying around in the entrance hall. And I think the idea was that you took them and maybe showed them around and I squirreled them away. Um, and during one of my moves, found them folded up in my school satchel and <laughs> uh, realized that they were of interest and uh, then flattened them out and kept them in the attic. So we come to values. Now, the more desirable ones are the ones that relate to the more um, memorable artists. Maybe the ones on the table are worth two, three, four hundred pounds each, and the ones that we put at the back, maybe four to six hundred pounds. So you've got each. I'm amazed. <laughs> the total amount comes to, if my maths is right, around about fifteen hundred to two thousand <laughs> pounds. That's lovely. Well, congratulations to you, you for preserving them, and um, it's brought back memories of my teenage years, yes. and obviously it has for you too. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. It's been really interesting. Seeing the posters up again made me feel really emotional and, and really it was quite inspiring. And to hear John say that the posters were worth that much money was such a surprise. I, I thought maybe £50 each, but never that sort of money. So a lovely, lovely surprise. <laughs>